Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this new tutorial. So actually this tutorial is very simple. It's just to talk about one error that you may find when you are working with the ESP8266. So basically here's the error that uh, is happening to me all the time that I'm trying to upload a program. So it's telling me warning, ESP comes synchronization failed and blah, 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 okay? And if you go on the internet and try to find from this error, they're going to tell you that it's a problem of wiring, actually. Uh, that's the truth if this is the first time that actually you are trying to play with the ESP 8266, but that's not the case if you already implemented it and then you are trying to upload another program. So um, how did I fix uh, the thing? So, uh, once more, actually, I strongly advise you to follow this tutorial, which is save me heaps of time. So uh, just respect the color, just make the wiring properly, and and you're going to be fine for your first setup. Okay, so uh, here is actually the the pattern to follow. Uh, you have to know that actually when you look at your ESP8266, uh, the first pin that you see is the TX, the TX, CHPD, uh, the reset pin, the VCC, the ground, the GPIO2, GPIO0, and RX. So those eight pins you need to really know carefully. Um, I mean, you know, you need to know uh, where they are located on uh, your um, on your ESP8266. So once more, please have a look at uh, this tutorial, which is great in order to make uh, the implementation. That's that's the first thing. Um, I just took, for example, the picture of my Arduino board, which is an Arduino Uno, and which is working. So as you can see here, I have the green one, which is, in my case, uh, the TX, uh, which is here. Then I have the blue one, which is the CHPD, and so on and so forth. So I make the wiring exactly like he explained within uh, the video. Then here I have my resistor, which is going from the blue one to the, I think it was to the VCC and so on and so forth. So, I mean, it's exactly the same thing as it did, but just with my own uh, Arduino card. So you can like double check the two uh, of them in order to ensure that it works. But actually, once you will make your first connection, that's a thing, then uh, you will see after that, that uh, when you try to upload a new program, so for example, I'm going to um, insert a new program. So I'm going to just have a serial print. So I'm just going to say, OK, my program, pro program. So basically, I just want to send within the ESP8266 a program which is just displaying the word my program within the serial monitor every second. Okay, so if I want to send this program within the ESP8266, you're going to see if I'm lucky enough for this uh, video tutorial that an error is going to happen. Well, it's actually all the wiring I, I made properly. So um, as you can see, the wiring is as follows. Okay, it's still working. You can see that the ESP is here. And the only things uh, that you need to do is actually in order to debug that. And I have no idea why it's working this way. Um, and I don't know if it's a good practice to do it. So you need to be careful and, and double check on the internet. But I'm just uh, putting out actually the ground wire, okay? the ground wire, so the black one, and I'm just put, putting it back oops, here. And then if I do this, and now that I want to upload the program, if I'm lucky enough for this tutorial once more, uh, you should see that it's going to work. I mean, I hope it's going to work. And wow, it's working. OK, so I don't know why uh, it's working this way, actually, why we need to remove, uh, let's say, the energy to the ESP. A266 in order for him to be able to upload a new program. But as you can see, it's working fine. Do not even have an external 3.3 uh, volt generator for my ESP8266, as you can see. And it's working fine now. It's telling me that the program has been uploaded. And uh, yeah, it's telling, it's telling all the time that, yeah, my program, my program, and it's fine, right? So um, I know that many of us uh, are encountering problems with the ESP8266. I hope that actually my fix will uh, help some of you uploading actually the program uh, within the ESP8266. I'm sorry if 
uh, my solution that I'm providing you here cannot fix your uh, your issue. And uh, yeah, I have to say that actually this component is kind of a hell in order to make it work. It can take you half a day in order to, to make it work properly. Uh, hope you enjoy it and um, see you in a, in a new tutorial.